everything that you're looking at, they're all tied in together. Every part, as crazy as this seems, as outrageous as it seems, it all ties in every bit of it. And in this lawsuit, he claims that essentially P. Diddy was the Epstein of the rap industry. Oh. All right, let's dive right into one of the biggest celebrity scandals to hit the entertainment industry in years. The iconic rapper and businessman, Sean Diddy Combs, is now making headlines for all the wrong reasons. The man who once ruled the music world is now facing accusations that could not only end his career, but also land him in a notorious New York prison. You've probably heard some rumors flying around, but buckle up because the details of this story are even more shocking than you might think. The issue is, it seems as though he wants to kind of like exert power and dominance over people who don't really want it. Imagine this. Sean Combs, the larger-than-life mogul behind Bad Boy Records, was recently denied bail, meaning he's now being held at one of the most infamous detention centers in America, the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn. If you thought Diddy's life was all about glitz and glamour, it's taken a pretty dark turn. This is the same facility that housed disgraced figures like R. Kelly and Guys Lane Maxwell and its no-luxury hotel, Trust Us, the place has been described as hell on earth, and from everything we've seen, that description is pretty accurate. Now, let's talk about why Diddy is there in the first place. Combs was arrested on some serious charges that have left fans and the industry in shock. We're talking about accusations of orchestrating wild, high-energy gatherings that went way too far, with claims of foul play that could put him away for a long time. Mm. But we've also heard that there's some secret lawsuit going on in New York City mm -hmm. as it relates to Diddy, too. I That's, don't know if that... I think that one's criminal. But wait, it gets worse. Prosecutors aren't just accusing him of running these crazy events. They say he manipulated, threatened, and hurt people to make sure they followed his rules. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you got to do that. I was f***ed up. To make matters even worse for Diddy, his legal team tried their best to get him out on bail, offering what they described as a massive bond tied to his Miami mansion. They argued that someone as rich and famous as Diddy wouldn't run away. He even flew to New York voluntarily, they said, showing that he wasn't a flight risk. In their words, these are the acts of an innocent man with nothing to hide. But prosecutors weren't buying it. In fact, they claimed that Diddy is still a threat to anyone who might testify against him. They pointed to his angry and aggressive behavior in the past, saying that he's used his power to intimidate people into staying silent. Don had the choice to file the case as a Jane Doe, and she chose not to do that. After giving it a fair amount of thought. She wants accountability. Let's pause for a second to consider what this means. Diddy has built an empire over the last few decades. He's collaborated with some of the biggest names in music, from the Notorious B.I.G. to Mary J. Blige, and his influence in hip-hop is undeniable. But now that empire is crumbling right before our eyes, and it's all tied to these shocking allegations. There has been some updates in uh, the, Diddy, the Diddy um, $100 million default judgment that we reported on earlier this week. So what's it like for a multimillionaire like Diddy to suddenly find himself inside one of the most notorious prisons in the country? Well, let's just say it's a far cry from the lavish lifestyle he's used to. MDC Brooklyn is infamous for its horrific conditions. We're talking overcrowded cells, broken heating systems, and violent incidents that are terrifying enough to make even the toughest people tremble. In fact, there have been multiple reports of people losing their lives inside the facility in recent years, raising serious questions about how the place is being run. And to make matters worse, at least four people have reportedly taken their own lives while locked up there. According to official reports, this isn't the kind of place where you'd want to be if you had a choice. I mean, I hit rock bottom, but I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. You have to wonder how someone like Diddy, who's been on top of the world for so long, is handling these conditions. According to his lawyers, they're not just uncomfortable, they're dangerous. One of his legal representatives said, several courts in this district have recognized that the conditions at MDC are not fit for pretrial detention. And it's not just the lawyers who are speaking out. Inmates who have been inside MDC Brooklyn have described it as worse than any nightmare you could imagine. One of them said that after a violent incident in June, the prison went into total lockdown mode. People were only let out of their cells once every three days, and even then, it was just for a quick shower. Can you picture that? Being locked up in a tiny room for days on end with nothing but your thoughts to keep you company? I think industry talk, there's a lot of people who, you know, who have worked for him. There's been stories around, which is, you know, not necessarily unusual. What makes this case even more compelling is the sheer amount of evidence prosecutors claim to have gathered. We're not just talking about witness statements. There's talk of financial records, videos, and electronic communications that allegedly document years of misconduct. If these reports are true, then Diddy's defense team has an uphill battle ahead of them. 
prosecutors have even hinted that more victims may come forward as the trial approaches, making this case a potential tipping point for not only Diddy, but for other powerful figures in the industry. This could open the floodgates for more people to speak out about misconduct in entertainment, similar to what we saw during the peak of the Me Too movement. On top of this, rumors are swirling about Diddy's associates being questioned as part of the investigation. If people close to him start talking, it could unravel even more layers to this already complex case. We've seen it before with high profile cases. Once one person decides to cooperate, the domino effect kicks in and suddenly you've got a wave of testimonies that paint a damning picture. So far, no one from Diddy's inner circle has openly turned on him, but insiders are saying that a few people are feeling the pressure to save their own skin. Could we see some of Diddy's closest confidants testifying against him in court? Only time will tell. Uh, it's just crazy. Just read, read. The reality is that this isn't just a story about one man's fall from grace. It's also a story about the broken U.S. prison system and the inhumane conditions that people face when they're behind bars. MDC Brooklyn is notorious for understaffing, which means there aren't enough guards to keep things under control. That leads to fights breaking out, people getting hurt, and complete chaos. Inmates have even reported finding disgusting things in their food, like cockroaches. And if that wasn't bad enough, the facility's poor ventilation and lack of natural light have been called out for making the place feel like a dungeon. Now, Diddy's legal team has argued that putting him in this environment is just cruel. After all, they say he hasn't even gone to trial yet, so he shouldn't have to suffer in such horrible conditions. But here's the thing. A lot of people are saying that Diddy deserves it. Fans have flooded the internet with comments like, good, he gave hell on earth to his victims. He deserves no special treatment. Another comment said, for all the prisons he made for his victims, may he never have peace? Clearly, there are a lot of strong opinions about this case, and many people believe that Diddy is getting exactly what he deserves. So what happens next for Sean Diddy Combs? Well, his attorneys are promising to appeal the judge's decision to deny him bail. They're saying that this whole situation is a huge misunderstanding and that Diddy is innocent. In their words, Mr. Combs is a fighter. He will fight this until the end. He is innocent. He came to New York to establish his innocence. He is not afraid. He is not afraid of the charges. But with the charges he's facing, even if he does manage to get out of prison before his trial, his reputation has taken a massive hit. The man who was once on top of the world is now facing the very real possibility of spending the rest of his life behind bars. Man, I ain't gonna lie. Let's not forget, though, that this isn't the first time MDC Brooklyn has found itself in the spotlight. High-profile inmates like R. Kelly and Geislane Maxwell have both spent time at the facility and their experiences were anything but glamorous. Maxwell's lawyers, for example, filed multiple complaints about the conditions she faced while being held there. They claimed she was underfed, forced to drink contaminated water, and subjected to constant searches that left her humiliated. In one particularly shocking accusation, they said that cockroaches were everywhere in the prison and even in her food at times. R. Kelly's legal team also filed a lawsuit claiming that the prison put him on special watch as a form of punishment. So if you think that Diddy's celebrity status is going to get him some kind of special treatment in this place, think again. MDC Brooklyn doesn't seem to care who you are, how famous you are, or how much money you have. Now, let's talk about the bigger picture here. Diddy's arrest has sent shockwaves through the music industry, and it's not just because of the charges he's facing. According to sources, a number of high-ranking executives at major record labels are now in a state of panic. Why? Because if more dirt comes out about Diddy and his alleged actions, they're worried they might get dragged down with him. A source reportedly said that there are at least five executives who have been advised to explore their options and prepare for the worst just in case their own skeletons get exposed. This is a scandal that could take down more than just one person. It could rock the entire music industry to its core. Mm -hmm. I'm a fight for my reputation. I'm a fight for the honorable man I am, the righteous king that I am. I'm not perfect. And it's not just the industry insiders who are worried. Fans are also grappling with the idea that someone they idolized for so long could be involved in something so dark. Some people are defending him, saying that this is all part of a larger plot to take him down. But others are calling for justice, saying that if the allegations are true, then Diddy needs to be held accountable for his actions. It's a debate that's playing out across social media, with people taking sides and arguing over what should happen next. One thing's for sure, the next few months are going to be critical for Diddy's future. If he's found guilty, he could be looking at spending decades in prison. And even if he manages to clear his name, his reputation might never recover. The world is watching, and stakes couldn't be higher. So what do you think? Is Diddy getting what he deserves or is this all just a big misunderstanding? Do you believe the rumors or do you think there's more to the story that we don't know yet? And what about the other executives in the music industry? Do you think they're hiding something too? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and make sure to stay tuned for more updates as the story continues to unfold.